Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and welcome to my channel if you're new here. My name is Claire and I put out videos about luxury bags and accessories. So if that is your thing, please click on the subscribe button, hit the notification bell and you'll know when I upload a new video. And I am over on Instagram, so I'll pop my Instagram details on the screen so you can follow me over there as well. Um, now I haven't filmed a video for a few weeks and I haven't uploaded anything because I am here in the UK and obviously a few weeks ago we had the sad news that the Queen had passed away and um, I've just really been watching all the coverage and I didn't really feel like filming a video about these sort of subjects to be honest and, and you know uploading them I've, I've just been either working, um, dealing with things with my son or I've been watching all the coverage that um, has been on the TV and uh, obviously this week um, the beginning of this week it was the Queen's funeral and, and myself, my husband and my son, we all sat for the day and watched all the proceedings and um, it was very, very moving, a really very special day for a very, very special lady. Um, you know, been um, our Queen for um, 70 years and um, the country is uh, going to be a, a different place without her. But um, anyway, I just wanted to acknowledge that and say that's why I, I didn't really feel um, in the mood the last few weeks to actually film or upload anything. Um, however, I have been somewhere today and I thought I would jump on here and do a video sort of as soon as I got home to show you where I've been and what I got. Um, now, I did today go to the Hermes private sale. And I'm going to pop my video up um, above if you haven't seen it about my experience at the private sale for Hermes last year, around about this time last year it was. Um, and I had a very, very different experience this time. But that video talks about um, the sale last year. It was last year the first Hermes sale for about 10 years in the UK, I, I think. And it was a bit of a an interesting situation basically if you were lucky enough to go earlier on in the sale in in the first few days of the week of the sale there was lots of uh, goodies to be had there were lots of big discounts but there was also an awful lot of queuing um, you had to queue to get in you had to queue for the cloakroom you had to queue for the um, to actually get into the sale area you had to queue for the shoes and you only got 15 minutes to look at shoes and you either had to then you know just be happy with what you've got or you had to rejoin the queue for the shoes and go through again and uh, then there was a long three to four hour queue for the tills to actually pay for your items if you were like me and i discussed this in my video um you went towards the end of the sale there wasn't really anything left so there was no queuing but there really wasn't anything left and I obviously show you on that video what I did end up getting, which was uh, just a couple of uh, quite small items. So I was quite disappointed last year, but I did say in the video um, that I might give it another try. And I'd heard this year that it was going to be organised a little bit differently. So I got an email a little while ago um, telling me to save the date that the Hermes sale was, was back again, um, told me the dates, and it told me there would be VIP access on certain dates and then just normal access for everyone else on the on other dates. Now I'm not a VIP. Um, I, I do have the card of an Hermes SA in the Bond Street store. Um, I've spoken to her a couple of times about homeware items, but I, I would certainly not say she is my SA. She probably wouldn't really remember me. I don't have a wish list. I'm not in the market for a Birkin or a Kelly. I'm not playing the Hermes game. I tend to just order a few little bits and pieces here and there on the website. I've got a little bit of homeware. I've got some jewelry. I've got um, one pair of Iran sandals. Um, and I think that's about it for Hermes really and obviously my, my Bastia which um, is also the subject of a video which I'll pop up uh, on the screen in case you haven't seen that one but in terms of Hermes that's it really I'm not a big spender so I'm definitely not a VIP as far as Hermes is concerned so what I understand happened is that Hermes once the, the sales slots became available they emailed their VIP clients and offered them sales slots so those VIPs obviously got the slots the first part of the week when the sale started this week. Um, I got an email telling me to register for a slot once the VIP slots had 
been allocated and this email when it came through I clicked on it immediately and I registered for my slot straight away and I did um, request the very first non VIP slot which was actually today at 1 p.m. so um, I did that within seconds of receiving the email and I got um, the screen up that said thank you for your registration your request you'll hear within 48 hours if you've been successful um, and so I didn't then just had to wait about a minute after that the website crashed <laughs> and I was seeing on Facebook groups that people had got their email and obviously hadn't been as quick as me and they'd gone in literally five minutes after they got their email and the website was down and they hadn't been able to pick a slot and then by the time the website came up again all the slots were gone, all the slots were kind of greyed out and you couldn't even pick one to say that that's what you wanted to try and register for. So I felt very fortunate that I was actually sitting at my computer when the email came through and I clicked on it immediately and requested that first slot. But it, at that point I still didn't know if I'd got the slot. Um, quite a while longer than 48 hours went by, it was nearly a week went by and I'd heard nothing so I kind of just assumed actually that I didn't get the slot, I thought maybe I, I just wasn't you know that lucky they didn't seem to be giving out that many slots this time um, I don't know if it's because of last year there were so many people so much queuing that this year they just really limited the slots so I had kind of resigned myself to the fact that I hadn't got a slot however um, a couple of days ago I got an email as I say it was it was over a week or near, about a week after I'd first registered and it said you have your slot and so my slot was 1 p.m. till 3 p.m. today um, which happens to be the 22nd of September so I was very pleased about that obviously you know happy that I'd got the slot um, the sale this year again was in a different place it was kind of in central London last year this year it was in Alexandra Palace um, which is kind of North London um, if um, you know you don't have to go into central London to get there um, I contemplated going by train because we've got a couple of good train links uh, from where I live and there is a station at Alexandra Palace but it meant I would have to change trains on the on route and I'd have to get a bus as well because the station is about 20 minute walk um, up the hill to the palace so you can get this bus that goes and drops you right by the palace but I decided in the end that was a bit too much faffing um, and I thought I could actually probably drive there I looked at the route from where I live it looked quite straightforward and I the parking seemed to be quite good there as well I mean, it wasn't very expensive to park and there seemed to be plenty of parking so I thought let's give it a try I'll drive um, and so that's what I did this morning I left about 11 um, I got there at midday so I was actually an hour early for my slot they were not letting anybody in before their slots they were very strict about the timings so um, <clears throat> excuse me even though I got there early there was definitely no going in before my slot so there was a pub cafe next door so I just sat in that and had a drink wild away the time and then uh, about five to one I went back to the um, the main entrance I was let through I then had to go through security where they checked my bag I then had to queue only only a few people deep to be honest queue at the main part where they actually kind of checked my invitation um, and then they checked my ID because you had to take some photograph ID so I took my passport it was all very very strict in that respect then I was pointed through to join another queue and that was the queue for the cloakroom and then to actually go in so they would then I was queuing in that for about probably 15 minutes and then they were letting people go through to the cloakroom a couple at a time once they checked their coats and bags then they'd let the next couple in um, I did that, popped my coat and bag in, just kept my cards and my phone out, picked up one of the shopping bags and then it was through and into the sale. Um, now what they'd done this year, um, instead of making it kind of all open and all available, I suppose last year because they'd done that, that was a it was a, why it was a little bit chaotic. This year they kind of um, ferried you through different parts um, and you couldn't, if you left one area you couldn't go back. So the first area I walked into was menswear. So there was men's ready to wear and then there were like men's silks. So um, the first thing I did was picked up a tie for my husband. Um, now, I've told him that I've bought him a present, 
and I'm going to um, give him this for Christmas because I bought him a tie last year if you remember um, and I gave that to him for Christmas so I've said to him I got him something from the sale it's going to be for Christmas so he's promised me that he will not watch this video until after Christmas um, I've shown him the other things I've got for myself he's seen those already so I've said to him there's nothing else that I'm going to show on the video that you haven't seen other than the present for you so he has promised me faithfully he will not watch this video until after Christmas and then he'll probably forget to watch it anyway so he'll probably never see this video but anyway I did pick up a tie for him I was really pleased with the one I got it um, last year I got him a pink and grey one this year I'll show you what I got him I'll show you now I got him this one which is um, I don't know if it looks that exciting on camera it's um, got grey blue and a very sort of small tinge of green in it and I have sort of put it up against a lot of his shirts because he's got predominantly grey, white and blue shirts and so this goes with nearly all of them so it's a very versatile one I think. I thought it looked quite understated and elegant. The one I got him last year was a little bit more out there because it was kind of pink and grey and I just felt this was a little bit more understated. Um, he'll definitely be able to wear this for work. Um, and I know that, you know, as I say, it goes with most of his suits. So I was very pleased with that. Um, so there you, see, there you go, just to prove it's from Hermes. It's got the Hermes label there. And then there's the kind of label that was on it. So yeah, I think the quota for ties was about eight or nine you could buy. But I only bought him one. But it seems to be a bit of a tradition now. When I go to the Hermes sale, I buy my husband a tie for Christmas. So that was the first item I put in my bag. And then... I went through and the next department or next area was ladies silks so it was all the silk scarves all the twillies all of that that was very very busy there was actually a lot of stuff but in a quite small area and there was lots of people um, looking through the scarves so that was quite busy and it was a bit overwhelming because if you can imagine all the different types of um, designs that Hermes do for their scarves and they're just hanging up in front of you um, and and they're just so many so many colors so it's a bit overwhelming to, to know where to start looking and I didn't really look at them because I thought well I'm not really one for square scarves that's hard to say um, I find it hard to tie square scarves and I just don't get on very well with them they're a bit too bulky and they don't really suit me I've got a small neck so if you cover up a lot of my neck, it looks a bit weird. I kind of find that open neck things suit me better. So having a scarf right round my neck doesn't really suit me. So when I do wear scarves, I tend to wear long scarves. Now, I didn't know that Hermes did long silk scarves, um, but I was actually just rummaging through a few twillies. I, I was looking and I thought, I thought I don't want to buy something here for the sake of it. And I, But I, I was looking at the twillies thinking, well, I don't really need a twilly, but I'll, I'll just have a little rummage. Um, and I happened to pull out this much thicker than normal twilly, and I thought, hang on, this is a bit big for a twilly. So I pulled it all out, and it was a big, long silk scarf. And I just absolutely fell in love with the colours. So I'll show you the silk scarf I got now. Now, um, as I've, I've, I've obviously already shown you the tie, but this is the bag that I came home with, because everything I got is put in this big white plastic bag. And what they did with the ladies silk scarves before you were allowed to move into the next area they had to bag up any ladies silks and kind of put a security tag on it so they put it in this kind of plastic bag um, put a security tag on it and then I put it back in my shopping bag and then I was allowed to move on to the next part they didn't do that with the tie but I don't know I'm not quite sure why they did that with the scarves obviously some sort of security thing but anyway, this, I just love the colours of this. Here we go. This is the silk scarf that I got, and it's a long silk scarf. Um, and I just, I loved it. It got the horse detail on it. Um, so it has got kind of like the horse detail there, and it's actually got some horses on it somewhere. There we go. The horse there. Um, I just absolutely love the pink and the green and the burgundy very much my favorite colors kind of pink and green and burgundies very similar color scheme to the twilly that I bought last year um, it has a tiger on it as well so every time I look at it I kind of find something different there's a another horse on there as you can see it is a long scarf so rather than being a square 
it's a long one and I can pop it around my neck and wear it like that which much suits me so much better um, in terms of scarves that's how I wear scarves it is long enough as well to kind of twist round and wear like this as well which is another way that I do wear scarves sometimes where I can still kind of keep my neck open so I'm 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 absolutely thrilled with this I really am and I didn't know that Hermes did scarves like this to be honest I thought they just did the squares and the twillies and the, and the great big squares the smaller squares so you know I, I didn't dream I'd get an Hermes silk scarf so I'm absolutely thrilled with this I love the colours um, I do wear a lot of black I know I'm quite boring so something like that just will add as we say a pop of colour to my outfits um, and things like that and I've got a few um, sort of autumn coats jackets that I know that will go with and again will just give my look a lift so I'm, I'm so pleased that I got that oh and the other thing is it's got a label on it with a price and I thought that was the sale price and when I took it to the cash desk it wasn't it was um, 140 pounds cheaper than I thought it was so it was just over 100 pound for that so I'm absolutely thrilled that I got that um, and a lot lower price than I thought I was going to have to pay for it so yeah so I left the scarf area and then it was into the area that most of the women there I think were keen to get to and that was the ready to wear and the shoes so it was the ready to wear first then there was the shoes I didn't stop at the ready to wear I know that most of the ready to wear doesn't really fit me I'm a UK size 14 and I know they had different sizes I didn't even see the size 14 um, rail I saw a 8, 10, 12, I didn't see the 14 um, and I know that most of the ready to wear doesn't really suit me, it doesn't fit me, It it it's very expensive as well, it, even in the sale it's very expensive so I just felt I'd rather spend my money on shoes which is something I know I will wear um, than try and find something for ready to wear I just I wouldn't even know where to start looking to be honest um, you know I'm just not into Hermes ready to wear so I went straight through to the shoes, much better than before, much um, larger selection. I know earlier on in the week there were more Arans, um, Santorinis, things like that, and there weren't in my size at all now. Now I'm a size 39 to 40 depending on the style of shoe. I would say anything 38 to 40 there wasn't as good a selection and there certainly were no Arans left in those because that's probably the popular size is the more average size for UK females I think. If if you happen to be a size um, UK 3, 4, what's that 36, 37 something like that if you happen to be those sizes you had a much better selection. I, I saw there was a lot more shoes laid out for those sizes and I did see a lady who was in the size 3, 4 section trying on a beautiful pair of legend sandals so you know they definitely had more selection and more of the more of the popular shoes from Hermes in those sizes but once you get into the average size of the UK population 38 to sort of 40 it was a little bit more slim pickings but it was still better than last year um, now I tried on quite a few different sandals I will say I struggled with the sandals a bit I found that they, I just couldn't get um, them to fit me right if I went for a 39 they were too short in the length of the shoe and if I went for a 40 they fitted me lengthwise but they were too wide and my feet was kind of falling out of them so I just didn't get on very well with any of their styles of sandals um, I tried a, a wedge sandal on and that was just it didn't look anything special it really didn't and I just thought you know if I'm going to spend this sort of money on an Hermes pair of shoes even at, you know sale price I still want them to look good I want them to look special if that makes sense um, so everything I tried on didn't really work and I kind of thought oh, I'm, I'm not going to get any shoes I'm going to come away disappointed again in terms of the shoes however there was a pair of shoes I tried on a small pair of kitten heel pumps which I tried on um, when I first got to the shoes um, but they were a size 40 and I liked them but they were they were just too big and so I put them back and I don't know why but it 
it was a good sort of 10, 15 minutes later, I hadn't noticed that there was actually the same shoe in a size 39. So I tried them on in the size 39 and they fitted beautifully and they looked really lovely. And I thought, oh, these are so nice, very me. Um, and I really liked them. And I thought, yes, I found a pair of shoes. I know I'll wear these. And I popped them into my bag. I then thought, right, I'm pretty much done, I think. There's nothing much else to look at. And again, I just glanced across the table and I happened to see the same shoes in a different colour, but also in a 39 and in another colour that I really knew I would wear. And I thought, wow, how did I miss those? I just don't know how I missed them. The only thing I can think is that the assistants were kind of constantly refreshing the shoes they, they were going and getting shoes that that people had tried on and putting them back onto the tables and kind of moving them about and refreshing them as, as it were and I guess perhaps they just hadn't been there when I'd originally looked at my size and, and now they were there so I went and got those I tried those on exactly the same shoe so they fitted perfectly and they looked lovely I really liked them so I ended up with two pairs of shoes I just I wasn't planning on getting two I was going to be happy with one but I happened to fight see this other pair and I just knew if I didn't get them I would regret it I knew I would so I then thought right I've got my two pairs of shoes I've got the tie and the scarf I think I'm done I'm happy with what I've got and uh, and I walked around to again security where they check everything and then to the till so that I could pay um, went and picked up my bag and coat and exited and pretty much it was about two o'clock I think so the whole process had taken an hour um, hardly any queuing, everyone was absolutely lovely and friendly and helpful. It was a really, really pleasant um, and good experience and I was very happy with what I purchased. Um, and my shoes were half price, so effectively I got two for the price of one. Um, last year's shoes were 70% off, this year most of the time they were 50% off. So obviously it wasn't quite such a discount this year, but even so, 50% off a pair of Hermes shoes is still good. Um, so it was still definitely worth um, having. And as I say, there was more selection. Everyone seemed to be buying quite a bit. Um, the shoe quota was five pairs of shoes um, this time. I know last year it was six pairs, but you could only get five pairs of shoes this year. Um, and there were some people who were coming out, you know, with their full five pairs, um, as I say, but most of the people I saw were like me, just one or two pairs, and they seemed quite happy. So I guess I ought to show you the shoes that I got. Let's have a look. Um, now, they do come in boxes. The other things do not come in boxes. This is the first pair that I tried on that I decided I was definitely going to get. Um, now, this is literally how they come. So you'll see in here that... There's one dust bag on the top um, and there's a dust bag underneath. Neither of them are in their dust bags. Um, but I could have obviously put them in their dust bags once I decided I was going to have them. But um, anyway, this is the shoe that I got. Now, I don't know how that's coming out on camera. There we go. Can you see that? That has got um, the H kind of buckle with baguette style crystals and a little tab here. It's um, in a suede and it's got this very small kitten heel. Um, I'm finding, now I'm a little bit older, that I just can't totter around in really high heels. And I am really tend to be buying myself shoes lately that have this sort of heel height, maybe four to five centimetres at the most, because they're just so much more comfortable. I can wear them all day, I can walking them easily. Just can't cope with high heels anymore. So the last few pairs of shoes I've bought have been about this, this heel. And I don't normally go for kitten heels, but these look so nice on, they really did, that I just, and they felt so comfortable with that little heel that I felt that they would work. So um, yeah, so here, this one, um, just pop the box down. Around there. This one has got the, um, paper in let's just take that out and you can see the pair and the color of these is I know it's on the box it's called beige rose and these are the escarpins blush chevre velour so um, blush I'm not quite sure what that means because that's not, I thought that was to do with the colour to start with blush, but my other pair of shoes have also got blush on the box and they're not this colour. Um, Chevre Velour, I assume, means um, goat's 
suede that it's probably goat skin and they're suede um, so yeah and it says um, they are size 39 they are true to size because I am in closed heel shoes I am a 39 and these are a 39 and fit perfectly what I also like about these is they've got a little toe box there like the Fendi Calibris um, so you know I'm, I'm you know I just think it gives a little bit of extra protection on the on the toe on the sole um, I just really love the baguette diamond effect on there obviously they're not real diamonds but they are nice crystals that look good and are quite sparkly so I'm very happy with this very nice neutral color pair of shoes which I know will go with a lot of my wardrobe and I know I will definitely wear those so that's the first pair I bought so I was very happy with them definitely going to get them had them in my bag about to walk out and then I saw these which are also um, come with their two dust bags these are actually in the two dust bags because I I bothered to put these in their dust bags when I um, after I tried them on and decided I was definitely going to buy them now these possibly just as boring but I know that I'm going to wear these especially in this color because this is the versatile color and they are the same shoes but in black so I saw them in black and thought oh my goodness I can't I can't resist I have I have to get them in black as well because I just knew I would regret it if I didn't get them in black so they have the same H with the baguette crystals the same size kitten heel um, the same on the toes and yeah size 39 true to size fit me perfectly and I was actually trying them on and somebody said to me oh they look so pretty on you and I thought yes they do I really like them they do look really good and I tried them on earlier for my husband when I got home and showed him and he said yeah he said they really look good they they look very elegant they suit you they're very you they are very me I mean most of what I wear is these neutral colors I wear a lot of silver jewellery, sil I have silver hardware on most of my bags, um, you know, and I, I know I'm going to get the wear out of both of these pairs of shoes. So very happy with those. So that's my Hermes haul from the private sale. As I said, much better experience this year. Very happy that I gave it another go. I would definitely do it again next year, you know, if, if they do it the same way they did the, this year. This year really seemed to work. Um, they were very strict on timescales. There were some people who were at the entrance when I went in at five to one for my slot and they were having a bit of an argument with the security because he just would not let them in because I think that they were their slot was either two o'clock or three o'clock. They were quite a bit early and he was absolutely adamant he was not letting them in. He said, you know, you won't be allowed to go through until it is your time slot. So I think... I looked back on last year's and I know my time last year was a three hour slot. This time it was a two hour slot. I think they were making the slots a bit smaller but, but allowing fewer people in each slot to try and manage um, you know, the, the problem they had last year of these really long queues and, and all, all of this. There, there definitely didn't seem to be any of that this year and certainly the people that I've spoken to that went earlier in the week, um, they didn't have any problems with queuing they didn't have long queues everyone said that's been so far that it's been a lot less chaotic than it was last year it was a lot nicer um, much better way of doing it however the prices were a little bit higher than last year and there was perhaps not as much stock although I I think yes there probably wasn't as many silk scarves probably wasn't as much ready to wear but there did seem to be more shoes this year so that's my experience, my take, um, and uh, yeah, another Hermes private sale under my belt. I believe there's a Fendi one next year, um, at the early part of the year, because I got invited to that this year, but it was too short notice and I couldn't go. So I'm desperately saving my pennies now so that I can go to the Fendi private sale next year, because uh, that's the next one I really want to go to. So. I hope you enjoyed that um, video and uh, if you did please give it the thumbs up and I look forward to seeing you on my next video. I know I have the Fendi unboxing to upload, I promise I will upload that next I think but I will upload it soon I promise. Thanks for watching everyone, bye!